The downslope lie is a hideous shot to play, but I'm gonna coach you how to nail it every time. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are still in the sunshine of Portugal at the wonderful Villa Sol Resort. We are on the 19th hole, it's a par five, the third loop of nine here at Villa Sol. It's a 530 yard par five, she's tight baby. And the midway point down the hole, we've got a little bit of undulation. We are finding ourselves on a downslope and look, we've got some, some decent downslope. That's quite slopey. We've now got to play to a green that's slightly elevated. It's not a nice shot. I'm 175 yards away from the green. As soon as we have a downslope, immediately we feel like we're gonna battle with flight. The downslope is taking loft off the golf club. It's an important factor to appreciate. And so therefore, the bigger the downslope, the more loft you need to put in your hands to offset that. The ratio, well, one degree for one degree of loft, not really, but the stronger the downslope, the more loft you need to put in your hands. I'm not gonna go in, into it any more detailed than that, but you're gonna have to practice it and you're gonna have to see how much of a slope really affects your ball flight because everyone's different depending on your face to path characteristics. The slope immediately makes my left leg feel heavy. Sloping lies above the board, should I say downhill lies or uphill lies, are changing the pressure in our feet from right leg, right leg to left leg. In this case, it's moving more pressure in my left leg because gravity is pulling me in this direction. This we need to apply and be mindful of when we're swinging. Trying to move the golf ball further back or further forwards, in my mind, is faulty, unless you are in a really, really slopey lie situation. Would you really start to fart ass around with the ball position? When we swing the golf club back with the ball, with a downhill lie, as soon as we get going, it feels like it wants to tip our body to the left. My left leg is now going to oppose that. I'm actually going to try to make my left leg feel lighter in my backswing so that I don't have too much weight left. Because obviously the more the slope is this way, the heavier my left leg is gonna be, the more my pivot will move this way. And ultimately this is what's causing, along with the slope, along with that inverted tilt of the body, is causing the loft to be reduced. In a situation like this, as I say, with how much slope we've got going on here, I mean, that's a decent amount of slope. I don't feel it's necessary to move my ball position. Therefore, I'm gonna set up to this in the usual way. But what I am gonna do in my backswing, I'm gonna feel like my left foot is going to be light. So I'm gonna feel like my left foot is pushing to the right pushing to the right so it'll actually feel heavy initially and then it will feel a little bit lighter at the top of the backswing. Then as I start to move down, I've really got to feel like the left foot is keeping me behind the golf ball. These foot pressures are new to golfers. Golfers invariably don't use their feet and this is why a sloping lie shot, whether it's downhill, uphill, ball below the feet, or ball above the feet is such a problem shot because if people are not using their feet, what's going on above the belt line really is subject to the conditions that the feet are being put under and that's gravity. Let's play one. As I say, I've set up with my ball in the usual position. I'm now gonna feel like I'm gonna get a little bit more load up the slope. And as I pull the club down, I'm gonna feel like my left foot is stopping me from moving down the slope, which is what the sloping lie is causing. So left foot is pushing me up the slope on the way back.
and that came out pretty good. The slope is always making it awkward, but the more you play these shots from the sloping lie, the more you're gonna to start to have real insight into what the slope is doing to your feet, rather than just trying to shift the ball around and just try to make sure that I'm gonna be able to play a shot by either bumping the ball back or overloading my left foot or whatever it might be. Understand that gravity and forces are playing a huge role on your swing. And when you start to buy into that, you'll really appreciate how influential the foot pressure is on a sloping lie to make the ball striking come to you. I think you'll find that's good coaching, my friends. If you've liked this video, do hit the like button, share and subscribe with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you on the other side.